does the same thing. He says that love is visual, is visible and measurable. He said, how can you say that you love God if you hate your brother? You see, so, so it's something that is not kind of you know, uh, warm and fuzzy. It's something that you can say he loves God or he doesn't love God. Yeah. Objectively. Mm. It's not a subjective thing. Mm. So understand the, the consequences of what I'm saying. Because if, uh, if somebody was to say to me, I'm a very good driver. Um, I would say, oh, really? Well, I will follow you all day behind your car and I will see if you are a very good driver. I will see if you put your blinker on all the time. I will see if you tailgate anybody. I will see if you uh, hang out in the overtaking lane. I will see if... Uh, if uh, you, you cross unbroken lines. You see, I, I can see, I can measure. And I'm not going to just swallow the fact that I'm a very good driver. Because what you're saying is not necessarily that you're a very good driver. You're just simply saying, I can drive a car. That's different. See, So here it is that um, we need proof that we are living by faith. So, James uses uh, this expression about faith being dead. I mean, it's faith, isn't it? It's dead faith. It's not the absence of faith. There is faith there, but it's dead. Years and years ago, while I was at university, uh, here in Brisbane at Queensland Uni, um, during the holidays, I had a, a kind of a, a Saturday night job uh, in a in a actual hostel in an emergency accommodation hostel a Catholic one uh, in the center of Brisbane here and um, and so uh, we when I say emergency accommodation it was really for homeless men who who had nowhere to sleep apart from outside in a park or on a bench or somewhere and so they would come in they would be given one night or two nights three nights accommodation a meal and so on an opportunity for a shower and, and I was a supervisor. And because uh, they knew that I was uh, motivated and I was Christian and I was, I was committed as a Christian, then um, uh, they asked me to run every evening a service before the meal. And so I would run a service uh, for these men. They were, they were quite uh, free to come or not to come. And, and I discovered that these men love singing old hymns and their favorite old hymn was just a closer walk with thee <laughs> do you know that one yeah. oh, i tell you what they really got rocking with that one yeah. just a closer walk with thee 